Um, I think the playoffs are sort of taking off quite well. Uh, the teams are coming into the same intensity they had closing up the season. Uh, many of the teams are now getting used to many of the new players that they had. You know, Indonesia Warriors has Pringle, uh, Fazekas and Cruz, I think, with the beer men. So I think uh, some of the teams are still getting used to their, to their last minute additions. And I think the other teams are probably hopefully to find or refine the momentum like KL Dragons uh, going into the playoffs. Playoff action continues as we reach the third week of the semifinal round. And we're going to give you the full recap right here on the ABL Highlights program on ESPN. The Indonesia Warriors have earned the right to a spot in the 2012 ABL Finals. And they await the winner of this series tied at one apiece between the San Miguel Beermen and the Westport's Malaysia Dragons. The Dragons kept their hopes alive last week by bringing the Beermen's eight-game winning streak to a halt. And they'll try to repeat their performance behind Brian Williams and Tyrus Wade. And right off the opening tip, it's Williams who wastes no time to get the first score of the game. Attacking the basket, tapping, putting it back, and on a second effort, gets the opening bar. <laughs> Chris Banchero hoping for another big game after a record 15 assists in game one, and he starts to get it going early. That is a mismatch that Parks would love to exploit. Brian Williams with the hot hand early on cuts the lead to one. Hook shot oh. from Williams. Oh, he is in a groove for the first time. Leo Avenito, always dangerous from the outside, but way off the mark here and unable to find his touch in the first. On the other end, though, Tyrus Wade quickly finds his outside touch following a nice kick out pass by Williams, and Malaysia takes a one point lead. Still in the first quarter, and Chris Banchero starts to heat up. Banchero, the cutter. So most probably, Dragons are not ready for Chris Banchero to explode in this ball game to come up with another steal here to Beerman. And Danchiro out in the lead, makes no mistake. Transition basket's coming. He gives the Beerman a three-point lead, then gives Cruz a great pass underneath. Lead is up to five halfway through the first. Banchero pushing all the right buttons in the early going, gentlemen. Pat Kabahug with a slow start in this one, loses the ball, and it goes the other way to Nick Fazekas, who makes it a seven-point lead. Good shot, and Ariel Van Guardian. Now midway through the first quarter, Brian Williams goes down and has to leave the game due to stomach pains. He immediately heads to the locker room and leaves the Dragons shorthanded. But the Dragons completely unfazed, and they start to go on a little scoring run of their own. With less than a minute remaining, Chris Pacana and John Ung hit a couple of huge threes. World of, of good for the confidence of Malaysia. You got the lineup. And with Williams still out, it's the Dragons who lead it by two after one period of play. Two huge possessions. A minute into the second quarter, and Jun Manfajardo ties the game at 20. Jun Manfajardo to begin the second half. But John Ung, still feeling it, drains another outside shot to put the Dragons back up on top. Ardo's been making his presence felt so far in this game as well. Wade, double pump. Williams still unable to return, so Tyrus Wade carries the load and keeps the Dragons ahead by a small margin. Oh, that's tough. With a defender in his grill. A relatively quiet first half for Cruz and Avenido, but the Beermen were able to stay within one point of the Dragons at the five minute mark. And Chiro asked for the screen gap. Avenido, space on the baseline, glides inside. Nice patient sidestep there. Malaysia then calls a timeout and Brian Williams returns to the game. But he's visibly not the same as Cruz hits the N1 over him. Duke Cruz, bonus. T Wade puts the Dragons back up with this three point play. Gets Big the shot. Right oh, yeah, there. continuation. They're going to give it to him. But on the other end, this man starts to find his touch. With a catch and shoot, finally. Leo Avenido hits a couple of big trays, and it's the Beerman who lead it 37 to 35 at the half. And Avenido takes advantage. Well, it's all about playing playoff basketball. Last game, we didn't play hard on defense. We didn't run our offense. We didn't, we didn't play the type of typical San Miguel Beerman basketball. So we made some adjustments defensively and offensively, and we're playing better tonight. And certainly a much better second half as well for Bobby Parks' team as Avenido picks up right where he left off and puts them up by four. 
Then he takes it back outside the arc and lets it fly to stretch the lead to double digits. The Beermen go on a 21-3 scoring run to start the second half. Leo Avenido was unstoppable from the outside as he hits another three and he finishes with 18 points on the night. Triple, yes! Norman Gonzalez with Avenido getting hot at just the right time. Oh, Brian Williams. Going the length of the floor. Avenido, high, oh, how is he? He's very foul on the way and he'll go to the line. Second like goal, quick here in our third team, the third quarter. The Beermen clicking on all cylinders as they extend the lead to over 20 points late in the third quarter. Following behind. Avenido. Good control. He has the wave. You see Leia. And Vanguardia asks the Dragons to press. No rush. For the Beermen. Cruz off the loose oh. ball. No look pass. And he hits Nick Pazikas. Wow, a little bad. He's keeping it short. He's the live ball. Brian Williams scampering up the floor. He's got the ball hug outside. Brian Williams working hard inside the key, and he finally throws one down. Down low. Oh, a jam! But the Dragons are outscored by 19 in the third, and they face a 21 point deficit heading into the fourth. Benito going, it's happened. Williams not his usual dominating self inside the painted area, and Fajardo capitalizes. He puts in his own miss to extend the lead to 23. Wade tries to put the team on his shoulders and gets a rare four-point play right here. Four-point play. But Chris Luanzon gets an and one of his own on the other end to silence the Dragons once again. He'll go to the line. The hoop and the heart. Oh, oh boy, pushing the lawns on. We didn't appear in the first two games. Has the ball. Fajardo. Oh, big strong finish. Oh, puts him at the line. Luanzon and Fajardo doing their part along with Leo Avenido, who with this floater makes it a 30 point Beerman lead. Avenido. Presence was there, but he wasn't full. He wasn't a full presence. Great pass by Luanzo. But he, you know, you got nothing to be ashamed of, Tyron. The Beermen don't let up, and they seal the deal with a couple of threes late in the fourth. Once again. Lots of statements that they made this game. And when it's all said and done, the San Miguel Beermen defeat the Westport's Malaysia Dragons by a huge margin. Final score in this one, 90 to 56. The Dragons were heavily outmatched in the second half and never had a chance to recover, allowing the Beermen to advance to the 2012 ABL Finals, where they face the awaiting Indonesia Warriors. We will have that series for you beginning next Saturday right here on ESPN. We came out and played hard, you know, it was a bounce back game for us, it was a closeout game for us. Uh, you know, we kind of walked ourselves into a trap in Malaysia and, uh, and, it, and the trap definitely got us and, you know, we played all, we played all, uh, I mean, these guys played and I played some of the season to get home court advantage and uh, we proved to, uh, to take, take advantage of our home court. Well, right now, it's like they say, if, it, if it's not broke, you don't fix it. Um, I think we played really well defensively and we got the ball inside. We didn't shoot well outside, but we got the ball inside. And this has been a, a great year so far. Our fans have been great. I just want to thank all the San Miguel fans for sticking with us. Um, I want to thank my team because they showed character. Um, you know, we could have fouled up today, but I called them out and, and they came rose to the test.